Now, I know it was our show's official birthday yesterday, but I'm kind of feeling like it's my birthday right now. As a fan of cricket and definitely an advocate for the developmental power of what a very good property within the television space can do with the sport of cricket, I've been pumping it up all morning. The arrival of the 2018 T20 League, undoubtedly the biggest T20 League ever hosted in South Africa with a host of global stars is something that all of us can get excited about and something I think that we can feel very proud of. Like two proud parents, the two <laughs> gents sitting beside me. Um, of course, CEO of Cricket South Africa, Tabang Murue, and Ernest Stoop from SABC Sports. You guys don't even look tired after weeks <laughs> of, of hashing this out, of ironing this out. First of all, give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done, gentlemen. The T20 League is here. Um, hopefully you are taking on board just how big this is. Tabang, maybe I can start with you. Why is this so big? Why have you fought so hard to bring this all together, faced a lot of challenges, but met them head on? And now we, we arrive at the point where you guys can announce that it's here, and it's here on three, on Definitely. SABC Sports. Definitely. So for me, Graham, it was very important that we have a league of this nature. Uh, one is to obviously help us generate, um, you know, uh, an additional revenue stream for our players. Um, you know, our currency is very fluid. So we have our players being approached all over the world to play in other leagues, other competitions. So it, we, we are a very easy poaching ground. So we thought, we, let's come up and develop a different league of our own Brilliant. and uh, work as hard as we can to bring up up to the levels of the big bashes of this world, the IPLs of this world, so that we can manage to keep all our stars here and uh, within our shores. An absolute masterstroke. We've seen it with a few other sporting codes, but it requires a very key partnership with a broadcaster who can bring this all together in a way that doesn't speak to the privileged few, but speaks to the mass market of cricket crazy fans. And we do, we take it very personally when we lose, uh, but we also take it personally when we lose our stars to right. the bigger, um, so-called bigger leagues abroad. Ernest, you must have been licking your chops um, when this first came into being. How is the SABC feeling about Literally having Literally saying it that way, yeah. First of all, happy birthday, Express. Thank you, buddy. Great to be back here, and can we have a hoorah? Hoorah! hoorah! <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Roger, we love you, Absolutely man. Absolutely indeed, yeah. We are thrilled and excited to have this partnership with Cricket South Africa. We have never done this local domestic cricket before, as you know, so we are absolutely going with all the stops out to make sure that we can give all South Africans the opportunity to see what happens in local cricket. It is massive for us. So like you said already, SABC3 will be the channel of choice on TV, yeah, like they always do. But we've also <laughs> brought Radio 2000 on board for Ball by Ball commentary. Very and terrible. the first time ever we've brought Mshlobo Wanene on, who's going to be doing 22 matches live. And as we walk and talk, all the radio partners are coming on board from SABC. Actually, when we leave the studio, we're going to Good Up FM, who's our regional partner in Cape Town as well. So it's amazing stuff for SABC. And, and you've taken it to heart that, that the people need to see something like Most this to definitely. inspire the next definitely. generation of young cricketers who we want to hold on to. It all rests on the big name stars, on the balance of those teams. Are we right in assuming that there are six franchises? Where do you sit with the team makeup and what can we expect from the players and what we're actually going to see on the field, Saban. Definitely. So there's going to be six teams, all of them city-based. Uh, we're hoping that uh, next week we'll announce the team, the team names, the cities that will be hosting, show the colours, their logos. Uh, there'll be a whole variety of stars. The pro-tier players will all be available to play in the tournament. Um, we are still talking to some of the international guys who we had signed from last year already uh, and are available to come through to the tournament, the likes of KP, Chris Gale and them. Uh, so it's going to be big name players that are coming to participate in our league. Um, we're hoping to attract um, a few more players. The expression of interest as far as players are concerned only close today, so we'll know by next week exactly which players are available to come participate in this year's edition. Who doesn't want to come spend summer uh, in SA exactly. playing this kind of cricket? Very exactly. last question, Ernest. Um, for me, the most exciting part about creating a, a system of wealth, not just for the players, but around the sport to help it be sustainable. Yeah. From a, a broadcast brand commercial perspective, this must be gold. What commercial opportunities have you guys identified? Absolutely. I think just, just bringing this league, this, it's almost like an international global league, a World Cup. It is, yeah. In South Africa, like you said. So both from a tourist perspective as well as a commercial port part for SABC. It's just mind-blowing. The, 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 the opportunities is overwhelming, and we are definitely going to be grabbing it, and we're going to make sure that we do everything we possibly can with sponsors, but also for viewers and our listeners. So it's going to be phenomenal. 
Oh man, and the beautiful thing is, as much as you guys must feel like this has all been for you, it's not. It's for <laughs> you, it's for me, it's for the cricket mad fans in South Africa, fans of a spectacle in sport. It is here, the T20 League has been signed off and it's right here on SABC3.